search at the local police station. If he's not already in custody, the cops are sure to have leads on all the crooks in Venice. <laughs> since you've been out in the field slide. If you ever feel like brushing up on your skills, open the pause menu and select the tutorial. If we're gonna make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, and we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the basement. Try to find the Cooper gang marker I'm projecting. Great! Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head for the waypoint and we'll commence fa- I programmed in a new mission destination. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley, what's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess, use the right analog stick? Yep, try to find the marker I'm projecting. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Nice, one down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. after reading the Phoebeus Raccoonus. Heck of a page turner, that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy, I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly, try getting over to the other platform. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. These jobs lie. 
Good thing you've got Cooper ancestry, or you'd never be able to pull moves like that off. All right, Bentley, let me have it. In order to maintain our lavish lifestyles, we'll always need to have a little cash on hand. I hear ya. Most guards are nice enough to carry around a pocket full of change. Exactly. You can pick their pockets by sneaking up behind them and pressing the circle button. This guy looks like he's carrying some loot. If I steal it, you can fence the goods online for some cash. That's right. Look for a glow in a guard's back pocket. Sure sign of something valuable. Try picking his pocket dry without getting noticed. Okay, that's enough of that guy. It won't always be that easy. Guards are usually on the move. As long as I don't bump into him, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, smooth talker. Try robbing this guy. Great away! Great. Now, as any good thief knows, a job is only as successful as the getaway that's planned. I hear that. Some guards are not too keen on fighting toe-to-toe. -to -toe. You're not going to say I'm a lover, not a fighter. Well, not now. Thought so. Look, there's no shame in running from a fight. Keeps you alive. Hold down the R1 button to sprint. Sounds easy. Prove it. I'm gonna have this guard attack you, and you'll have to run away to lose him. Whoa, hold up. Ready, set, go. Ah! Where'd he go? Nice escape, Sly. An unfortunate fact about running is that you make a lot of noise. Sprint by a guard, and he's sure to notice you. Well, if I'm already running, might as well keep going. Good point. How about you try that? Run to this waypoint within six seconds, and then try and escape from the guards if they hear you. Come on. Ready, set, go. How about you stop setting these guards up to kill me? Well, you could always take them out instead. Now we're talking. If a guard hasn't seen you, you could sneak up behind them. You paying attention? This is complicated. Of course. We're talking about taking out guards. Right. Sneak up behind them and hit the triangle button to knock him into the air. Then press the square button to slam him down hard. Sneak attack. Nice. So that's the triangle button to knock him into the air, then the square button for the slam. You got it. Now give this guy the business! Unfortunately, the slam makes noise! Do it too close to another guard, and he'll be all over you! It's easy. You take out the first guy, then hide out when the second thug comes running. Wait until his back is turned, then strike! Try taking out both these guards without being caught. Nice work. I pity the guard that crosses your path. Now for the showstopper. See that boat slog up above that poor unsuspecting guard? Yeah? Feel like dropping it on his head? Oh yeah. This button will release the boat. Make sure the guard's under its shadow before you, you know, knock him senseless. Look for those buttons around town. The place is littered with unsafe machinery. Know what I mean? We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway.
monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Things can get pretty rough out in the field. You'd better be prepared. Preparation is my middle name. My wheelchair is totally equipped. Good to hear. As a resident demolitions expert, you'll need to be handy with the bombs. No problem. Just have to hold down the triangle button and out comes the goods. Okay, try dropping a bomb on that crate over there. That's some quality pyrotechnics, but how are your bombs versus guards? Against sleeping guards, I'm like a Greek god! All fall before me! Let's see what you got. Nice work. Now, how about someone awake? I just put them to sleep, too! My chair's been outfitted with a top-of-the-line sleep dart launcher. In fact, I even linked it to my binocucom. Smart. So you just click the right analog stick to bring it up. And to shoot, I press the... Nice. Now get over there and bomb him before he wakes up. All right, Bentley. You make this look easy. But how's your aim against moving guards? With a zoom function and nerves of steel, I'm ready for anything! That chair is pretty sweet. Got any other gizmos in there? Oh yeah, it's my own design! The pickpocket pull, or the PPP for short. A fishing pole with a magnet? Ingenious, huh? By default, it's linked to the L1 button. And you can rob someone with that thing? I just keep the L1 button held down, sneak up behind a guy, connect with the magnet, then pull back to yank out the loot! Sounds just like fishing. Try it on this guy right here. Okay, he served his purpose. I'm impressed with your pickpocketing technology, but how is it against someone in motion? Allow me to demonstrate. I just hold down the L1 button, attach, and pull. Couldn't be easier. of yours is a wonder. You've packed so much technology into such a small space. All right, Sly. I'm really going to test your climbing skills here. Here we go. You could use your cane to swing from hooks. Just jump and press the circle button again to latch on. If you ever get in the jam, it's smart to climb your way out of trouble. I hear that. Press the circle button near that pipe to latch on and climb. <laughs> I just love pipes. Is that okay? Sure, they're a thief's best friend, but don't forget wall hooks. How could I forget the lovable wall hook? Press the circle button to attach. Of course. 
To launch off them, you'll have to pull down on the left analog stick before jumping. Try getting over this wall. That's it, I give. You've made it through all my challenges. Hey, don't feel bad. Those wall hooks were kind of tricky. It was all supposed to be tricky. Anyhow, you've proven you know how to get around. A word to the wise. Anywhere you sense a thieving opportunity, you know, see the blue sparkles, you can use a circle button move. Pretty handy. Yes. Yes, it is. As you know, we sometimes need reconnaissance photographs to plan for a heist. Ah, uh, the humble recon photo. The unsung hero of many a caper. I've outfitted your binocucom with a camera. Click down on the right analog stick to bring it up. I tell you, Bentley, you designed this thing really well. The left analog stick aims where you want to look, and the right analog stick lets you zoom in and out. So easy. Why, thank you. Try to get a good picture of that chair suspended from the ceiling. You might have to zoom in a little. Press the R1 button to take the shot. Of course, it won't always be so easy. Sometimes you'll need to get a better vantage point. That shouldn't be too difficult. Your targets can also be moving. Makes getting a good shot that much more difficult. It's okay. So long as I'm quick with the zoom, I'll be fine. Let's put it to the test. Take a picture of each of these guards without getting caught. There you go, Bentley. Some wonderful pinups for our refrigerator. They're lovely. High art. Seriously? No. But you've shown some real skill with a Monocucom's camera. Nice work. We are all finished. Let's get going on our next operation. If you feel like a refresher course, I've set up a trader for you down in the basement. The miners have really torn this place up looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To pick something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle, square, ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. <laughs> Nice job. You can also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch. You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy. Kid stuff. Let's see what you got. An easy way to knock out guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. Yep, throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. <laughs> while he's out. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket. Chump, he's just asking, begging me to rob him. That's right. 
You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you can use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh yeah! I just knock him flat, then pick him up! Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. your triangle button uppercut and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. That right? You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. Just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain! Here. Head outside and crack some skull. 